Hello, welcome to the Long Island Weather Update. It's another beautiful day today here on February the 20th here on Long Island. A little colder than yesterday, but still very nice. Um, we stayed mainly clear. Uh, however, there was some scattered jet junk. You could actually see the jet junk popping up on this satellite loop right here, but it was mainly just off to the south for much of the day. So we stayed mostly clear for the most part. Uh, so uh, we had beautiful clear skies and uh, back in the pines again uh, for another uh, walk at uh, and uh, went to uh, Bohemia County Park. And uh, there was still some snow on the trails too. So it kinda, that's why I didn't want to really do too much of a walk. I didn't really take a video for you, sorry. But, uh, you know, just enjoying the, all these just beautiful pines, uh, all those great shapes, I'll tell you, it was pretty amazing. Uh, but here's some of the jet junk that uh, was in the sky, uh, mainly off to the south, you could see. But, yeah, was, uh, if there were no planes in the sky, there would be no clouds. This is all from the planes flying, and this is the impact of airplanes on our skies and our weather. It's not acceptable. We need to do something about it, obviously. I've spoken about that issue before. Uh, we need to curb the amount of air traffic that's in the sky. Uh, we need 50% less planes in the sky. But anyway, uh, and then tonight, full moon. Well, uh, three-quarters moon, uh, actually. <laughs> yes, I actually went into the Pine Barrens at night for a little bit. That's right. Uh, that's right. And uh, at Edgewood, just by the train station. Uh, wow. I mean, it was very, very beautiful uh, with that moon and the stars. It was really nice. Uh, very, And you can see, look at all the snow still on the ground here. This is, these are nighttime photos. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was uh, really uh, some pretty deep snow. I want five, six inches in spots in some, some spots. So I guess there was some drifts or something. But uh, this, I think, is from the, uh, the, old, the first storm we had, not the second storm. That snow is very wet, and that's why it's taking it. Another reason I don't like wet snows is because they take forever to melt, literally. Uh, hopefully we'll get rid of it by the end of this week. Uh, but anyway... Um, so it's a, you know so anyway uh, let's look at the Modus satellite next so you can see and you can see the snow that's still on the ground here so we'll go to this uh, satellite now um, you can see that high pressure just kept the clouds away pretty much for most of the day but still still snow on the ground here on Long Island and Central Jersey starting to disappear from a lot of Central Jersey but still hanging on on Long Island still hanging on in Connecticut you can see uh, this is from the first storm not the second one I think a lot of this. Uh, ironically, that where the heavier snow was from the second storm, a lot of it's melted already because it's warmer there. But it, the first snow, uh, the first storm system we have with very, very wet snow, very high water content, takes a lot of energy to melt that. Um, and that's why it's hanging on for so long. And you can see, again, some of the jet junk that we had here uh, off to the south here. And mainly it was off to the south, so we had mostly clear skies on Long Island. But again, you can see clearly see that snow just hanging on and today was pretty chilly too so uh let's take a look at our climate statistics we'll do this first uh for ice slip you can see the high was only 37 colder than yesterday uh the low of tw the low was 22 so five degrees below normal on the high and four degrees below normal for the day at ice slip uh central park obviously got a little warmer 40 degrees but still below normal four degrees below normal for the day so looking at our current conditions outside right now and you can see it's pretty chilly tonight, and I'll tell you, it's, it's just pretty chilly. We got those light winds, clear skies, dry air, and uh, that means that we are going to see the radiational cooling again. West Hampton is already down to 18. 25 at Islip, 25 in Farmingdale, uh, even 28 at JFK, 32 at LaGuardia, and 19 in the Pine Barrens west of Tom's River as well. So seeing some radiational cooling there too as well. So let's start with our lows first. I also see 19 and East Hampton as well. Uh, so let's start with our lows first. Uh, West Hampton got down to 12, uh, 18 at Brookhaven Airport, uh, 21 at Islip, 23 at Farmingdale, 26 at LaGuardia. So everybody, I think, got below freezing pretty much. Uh, and uh, west of Tom's River in the Pine Barrens, there are 18 degrees as well. So teens for a lot of air, teens for uh, the Pine Barrens and Around 20 for uh, a lot of other areas in 20s generally. So let's look at the highs today. And across Long Island, highs were only in the mid-30s. Uh, much, much colder despite all the sunshine. That was because of that easterly wind that we had. Uh, and even Jersey, uh, cooler there too as well. 39 for a high in Tom's River. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty chilly uh, everywhere today. But, that again, that wind 
that northeast wind makes a big difference. So we look at the winds now. They are calm. Uh, so uh, let's see what we've got here. So light. You can see the winds here. Um, we're easterly, northeasterly to easterly at Islip, and that made the difference in keeping it cooler. And then it became southeast later on in the day, but definitely that we got into that co little bit of that colder air that was over New England, uh, which is good. So, um, and West Hampton obviously down to 18 now, and they're probably going to drop quite a bit. Believe it or not, that a wind gust to 32 miles an hour today, which is interesting because there wasn't really all that much wind today, which is kind of interesting. I don't know when that wind gust was reported at oh it was i guess reported in the afternoon yeah the winds must have picked up in the air that's weird how they just picked up like that i think there's a malfunction at the site because it's saying six miles an hour and then gusting to 32 so i think we had pretty light winds i think this is a malfunction um yeah i don't think there was any strong really strong winds today uh in the morning i think there was a little more of a breeze maybe that picked up but overnight let's see uh yeah, there was a little bit of a wind, so that kind of kept the temperatures up, but it's still still got some pretty kind of pretty chilly there in West Hampton. It's kind of interesting to look at that. Ice slip. Yeah, I don't think it was all that windy today. Max gust at ice slip, not even showing up here uh, because there wasn't really much wind at all today. It was very light winds. That's what made today nice. That we didn't have too much winds. It was cold, but it was light winds. So it's a very, very nice day. Um so let's look at our weather map, and you'll see here that uh, we've got that high pressure over New England, uh, but that's going to start moving offshore. You can see the warm, warmer air is going to start coming in. More storminess in the west, of course. No surprise there with the, that. So uh, we'll actually go to the CONUS satellite and look at that. And you'll see here you know, another storm coming into the west. And look at this offshore to the storm offshore, which is kind of interesting here. That's kind of just sitting here. Um, but anyway, let's go to the models and look at what we have coming up for the rest of this week. So there's your storm offshore, and that's going to kind of just stay there and actually intensify tomorrow. Uh, high pressure stays in control. We still got that easterly flow. We're going to see more clouds tomorrow, but I still don't think we're going to get it. we're going to get into that return flow more on Wednesday. Look at this storm. Wow, it really wraps up. Almost gets tropical, maybe, I wonder. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But it's not going to be a problem for us. Uh, and uh, we stay dry th through Thursday, and then we have this cold front starting to approach. Uh, then ahead of that, we'll have the southwest flow. We'll warm up. Cold front comes through Friday in the early part of the day with a chance of rain, and then colder by the weekend with that uh, colder high pressure there building into the area. So it's kind of interesting with that storm, though, offshore. Uh, so let's go to the HRRR and look at the uh, HRRR. Obviously, no precipitation, not even going to show that, but we will show the dew points of wind flow. And you'll see that light easterly wind. Uh, so going tomorrow, we continue with that easterly to southeasterly wind. So it's probably still keep the temperatures on the cool side. Uh, we still have dry air in place. Then as we get into Thursday, uh, we're still staying with an easterly wind here. Um, all right, later on in Thursday, we get a southerly wind, but that... That's going to limit how warm it really gets. So I don't think we're going to see anything all that warm this week um, with those southeast to south winds. It's not really going to get it that warm. So going into tomorrow, we'll probably have highs around the 40-degree mark probably, but still, you know, a little bit below normal. Uh, and then tomorrow night, um, we'll have to see. We may still have another night of radiational cooling where I think we'll definitely see below freezing temperatures again with 20s. And then for Thursday, yeah, not getting... Thursday is going to be one of those days where it's going to be a lot warmer in Jersey, I think, with that southerly flow. So, you know, you could be pushing 50 in some parts of Jersey away from the coast. And then for Long Island, we'll probably have temperatures in the low 40s probably for Thursday. Um, and then to go beyond that, uh, looking at the GFS here, uh, we'll go ahead and look at our dew points and wind flow here. So... Um, you can see as we get to Friday, there's your... There's your front coming through. Winds go over to the west, and then we get into some much colder. Wow. GFS, these are some pretty... This could be... I wonder if this is Arctic air now that we're looking at here. So that's some pretty cold air there for Saturday and Sunday. Uh, but it does retreat relatively quickly. But it looks like it does give us a shot at some cold air. Uh, th those dew points look pretty low. So let's go ahead and look at the um, models here. Once we get through Saturday, we may... Yeah, we, we're going to... We're going to be in the, only in the 30s on on Saturday, and I mean mid low to mid 30s on Long Island, probably mid to upper 30s in Jersey. 
Uh, and then uh, for Sunday, we start rebounding to upper 30s to around 40. So it'll be a, a quick shot. But if you're north, uh, if you're north, man, <laughs> if you're in Maine, you're going to, in some areas, they're going to be stuck in the teens. Um, you know, so it's just a glancing blow. And then once we're done with that, just a quick peek at what happens next week. We start really warming up next week, as you see there, the warm air coming into the picture. Um, we'll talk more about the long range on another day. Uh, maybe a little bit more on it tomorrow. So uh, let's look at our skies. And I guess we'll go to the GFS for that. So you can see uh, there's the clouds, and it's showing some clouds coming in. High clouds, generally. Uh, maybe some mid-level clouds. This is all from that ocean storm, actually. So maybe some lower level. I think this is mostly, let's see, mostly high clouds, I think. High clouds, middle clouds. Actually, no middle clouds. I think it's mainly just high clouds. Let's see. And some low clouds. Okay, so I'll have a mix of high and low clouds tomorrow, I think, in the sky. Um, and then uh, moving on here, uh, as we get into Thursday, uh, we'll have... Uh, We'll have a little more sun, I think, on Thursday because we won't have as many low clouds. We'll have some more of the higher variety uh, in. So tomorrow is going to be more of a partly sunny day. Then more sun for Thursday. And then uh, this front comes through with the rain chances on Friday. And then we should clear it out by the weekend. Oh, we're just showing some instability cloudiness, which right now it's just too early to tell. That storm offshore looks really impressive, though. So let's go to the RGM next for skies. And uh, you'll see, again, yeah, you have these lower clouds kind of getting pushed in from the ocean with that easterly wind. Uh, and then uh, for Thursday, we'll actually have a decent amount of sunshine before some more high clouds move in the afternoon. And then Friday, obviously, we'll deal with the clouds from that cold front coming through. So let's, hoping that we're going to look at this storm, let's go look at the uh, windy, actually, you know what, we're going to go to the, go back to the GFS here and look at the, I think this we can actually look at wave height. All right, see if this is going to actually cause any beach erosion because, yeah, we're going to see the surf kick up, I think, a little bit later, Wednesday, Thursday, into Friday. You may need some coastal flood advisories from this offshore storm, uh, which looks really, look at it, it's red offshore. That's really impressive. Let's go to Ventu Sky and look at the storm just a little more in detail here for a minute. Um, and we'll go to the wind gusts here. This is the... H triple R. Uh, this is the icon plus H triple R. It says here on the screen. No, it's not using the GFS. Um, I could shift it to the GF. Yeah, look at the winds in this storm. Wow, seventy-two miles an hour. Is this thing going to hit Bermuda? Bermuda is over here, so I'm wondering. Bermuda is not. It looks like it's away from Bermuda, but uh, yeah, this is this is going to be some kind of coastal storm or something. It's just going to be staying way offshore. Um, but really strong, really strong uh, type of storm here. Uh, and if we look at the waves, again, the waves that this thing is going to kick up here, you'll see, all right, it doesn't show it getting reaching our area yet, but yeah. This is not the GF, this is the icon, though, so this is not the GFS. And now, all of a sudden, the high waves shifted to, all right. See, we use the GFS on here? No, it doesn't, it doesn't let us do it. I kind of wanted to look at the GFS, but, um... So some pretty strong, wa if you look at the heart of the storm here on Wednesday, you've got 20 footers in there. But it looks like it's keeping the most of that away from us. But we'll have to see because the models underestimated the coastal flooding. They keep underestimating it time and time again. Uh, I can look at the windy.com site and see if that will possibly show, uh, give us a better look. And also, this is the European model. So this is a different model here for this storm as well. So this thing really cranks up tomorrow. And you can see some pretty strong winds there. Look at that, 66 miles an hour. These are the wind gusts, but still really strong wind gusts in the storm here that we have. And it's sustained winds, too. It's 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 a hot, some kind of hybrid or something. It's over some warm water, so it wouldn't surprise me that it would. Look at that thing. It's really, look at that Thursday. It looks like it even sharpens even more. Look at that. I mean, that's incredible there. So that's an incredible storm. Uh, we're not going to see too much wind from it, but like I said, we will see. Let's go ahead and look at this. Yeah, this might give us a little more of an idea of, of the kind of effects we might see from it. Yeah, it's going to take until Thursday, but we will see some effects from it, I think, on Thursday, perhaps. And then again, look at this. If you're in the middle of the... Uh, yeah, this is incredible, uh, incredible storm here. Really incredible to see. Um, 
If we go to the Earth Null School website and just look at the sea surface temperature anomalies, where this storm is sitting, and then I'm going to wrap this up here. Um, let's see. Of course, it's above normal. That's of course. Look at this tongue of very above normal here. I mean, that's that's six degrees Celsius above normal right there that you're looking at, and and ten degrees Fahrenheit above normal where that bright yellow is. And uh, if we look at the actual sea surface temperature in that spot. Uh, it is 71 degrees. Yeah, right here. It's worth 71 degrees. Wow, that's... And they can't, They say it could be a very bad hurricane season because we're entering a La Nina and we have above normal water temperatures too. So it's uh, it's just not looking good. That's all I can say. But uh, enjoy the calm weather while we have it because we all know uh, it'll be our turn to get hit with more storms eventually. So that's going to wrap up this Long Island weather update. Thank you for watching and have a good night.